fine if anybody anyone joins us uh, they can be added to the meeting later fine so we'll start uh so a very good evening to all of you my name is uh, manoj nodial and i welcome all of you to this session that is adit info session the session is being held by international tax academy and uh, this is in sequence to the first lecture that we had uh, on sunday that was regarding the basics of transfer pricing today's session is going to be a lighter one in the sense that i am not going i am not going to take up uh, hard core international taxation talks the subject the substantive subject tp or tax treaties but today we are going to have a general discussion a free wheeling discussion interactive fully interactive session on the various aspects of adit that is advanced diploma in international taxation so the the the, the loose framework that i have in my mind is has been uh, mentioned here a little bit i'll speak about the exam the modules the preparation aspect that is most importantly the the study material that is required because believe me uh, after uh, sunday session there were many queries from the students from the group members hi ah, sorry so there were many queries from the students of the group who attended the meeting who saw the youtube video and all they were very curious and they were very intrigued by the fact that what is the study material which is required for the examination and i was very surprised that uh, many myths many myths persist in the minds of the students adit aspirants regarding what should be the study material what is required for the examination what is relevant for the examination and what can be a very uh, useful uh, arsenal that you should have for cracking of this examination so that is why i thought that this session was also required before we formally begin our preparation the next week coming week fine so that is why so uh, after this we will have a q and a so this is this is your session you can switch on your mics you can you can pose whatever queries you have in your mind regarding the examination and i'll be more than happy to answer and take one uh, each one of uh, the queries fine okay okay so the first aspect is what exactly is adit adit i'm sure all of you must be knowing stands for advanced diploma in international taxation it is a certification it is a qualification it is an accreditation that is given by ciot CIOT. So it is a certification. It is a certification. It is also a qualification. Qualification, which is given by CIOT UK. Full form of CIOT is Chartered Institute of Taxation, UK, United Kingdom. Its CIOT is the professional body that. Uh, is based in the U UK that is dedicated dedicated solely for purposes of taxation so it comprises of an academic academic board and that academic board under under their supervision this adit qualification this adit examination has been has been designed fine so this is a very basic level understanding of what exactly is uh, adit why do i say it's a certification i say it's a certification because after you qualify after you qualify the examination you can actually add adit after your name like here in india you do, you, you do uh, x pilot ca or cs so after this after the qualification after you come after you complete the qualification after you crack the examinations 
complete the examination, you will get a certificate and you can add ADIT to your name. Fine. Now, what is the use for this? You might you might ask, what would I gain if I would add that ADIT certification before my name? The the basic point is, if you would add ADIT be with your name, then because this ADIT is an examination that is conducted across 120 countries of the world, that is why it's it's an internationally recognized certification, and people would immediately come to understand that since he is adding, he or she is adding ADIT behind his or her name. So that is why he has a requisite standard. He has a requisite standard for meeting the ADIT international uh, taxation knowledge, which is required. Fine. So that is a, that is that that speaks volume of the efforts that you put in acquisition of that uh, knowledge of the subject of international taxation. So this is the basic use. This is the basic utility for the candidates. Now, as far as the modules are concerned, now the question is fine. We've understood what is qualification, what is certification. This is an advantage. Now, how do you how do you qualify? For qualifying, you have to undergo the three modules which are present in this examination. So, ADIT qualification or the ADIT examination would require you to qualify three exams, three exams, three subjects, or three modules. Fine. Okay, so the first one, first one is the principles of international tax. First module would be the principles of international tax. Second module, I'll write in short form, principles of international tax. And second and third module. module. Now, ADIT says the CIT, I mean the CIOT, the governing body says that only this principles of international taxation, this is compulsory. This is compulsory. Rest. Module number two and three, they are optional. And they have a list of modules, they have a list of subjects. And out of those subjects, you can pick any two. Fine. This is compulsory, and out of the list of the remaining subjects which they have prescribed in this prospectus, there's a list of the subjects, and you can accordingly choose any two from those lists. Now, those two subjects, they are of again two types those two subjects are of two types one is one type of subjects is the jurisdictional module jurisdictional jurisdictional module and the second type is thematic thematic Jurisdictional module is that module which will help you to opt for any specific country's taxation system as a subject. For example, I am opening this prospect right in front of you. See here. ADIT modules. Then, principles of international taxation, module number one, compulsory. And then you have jurisdictional modules. See this? Jurisdictional modules. And jurisdictional modules, country specific modules, Australia, China, Cyprus, Hong Kong, India, Ireland, Malta, Singapore, UK, US and Brazil. Fine. So, this can be one of the subjects, one of the two subjects. You can even take two out of these because second and third subject would be optional. So if you wish to take, you can take US or India, Singapore or India, any. There's no restriction on that. Fine. You can do that. Any two options you can take. Fine. Now the third third category of the subjects is thematic. Thematic optional, thematic modules, they comprise of EU, European Union, direct taxation. Another would be European Union indirect, that is VAT option, transfer pricing option, energy resources which comprises of oil and gas taxation, and banking option. Getting a point? So out of this, these one, two, three, four, five thematic subjects, you can take one or even two. So meaning to say there are ample amount of choices. Principles of international taxation is compulsory. You have to take that. 
second and third can be optional you can choose any and for choosing second and third you have two categories jurisdictional i have listed the country's name thematic i have told you subjects so out of all these categories you have to take two right so one two and three in addition to this there is one more alternative which is available that is an extended essay supposing you have checked this is compulsory second one supposing you take transfer pricing you take transfer pricing and you are left with left with the third option you don't want to go for any jurisdictional option or you don't want to go for any any thematic option and you say that i have a flair for writing i want to write i want to even publish certain articles and that is why i will go for a dissertation or thesis or paper so you what you what you can do you can actually go for the extended essay option and that extended essay option it 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 is it is almost like an llm dissertation llm thesis on any of the topic of international taxation the length of that essay has to be between 15000 to 20000 words the topic has to be prior approved on a prior basis and then you can start writing fine so if you do that then that extended essay can fulfill the requirement of option number 3 so all these permutation combination whatever you are take option essay thematic jurisdiction whatever you do if you complete these three you will qualify the edit and once you do so you have to apply to ciot that now i have qualified edit please give me the certification and they will give you the certification and you will be able to join ciot as an international tax affiliate like you join ca body icai as a ca member so they say that once you qualify the edit you can join the ciot as an international tax affiliate and you can add edit behind your name deepak sharma edit suhel rana edit manavi manali pallav edit and so on fine in that case so this is how you achieve you this is how you achieve the qualification and this is how you achieve the certification as far as modules are concerned i very briefly mentioned those modules and uh, the various combinations permutation combination which are which can be exercised by any of the candidates fine so this is the this was the uh, this this these were the first two uh, topics in our agenda now coming to the third part preparation the preparation in any case we would be doing very in a very detailed fashion once the batch starts but in preparation i want to specifically mention and i want to specifically highlight as i have already mentioned the the study material and the books which are required fine because the main problem what i what i have noticed is regarding the requirement for the study material which books are required which material is required so again whatever i'm saying here that is based on certain facts solid facts so now i am going to refer to this little adit prospectus 2022 i am going to refer to this fine and i am not going to refer to all the modules because adit prospectus is very detailed they contain a detailed syllabus for all the subjects all the modules and then they have a detailed prescribed list for books for all the modules so we can I, I'll, i'll share this document with you pdf document with you i'll share the link and you can download you can see that right but at least look at the principle of international taxation pit and tp and secondly we look at the tp as well because transfer pricing although although they say that transfer pricing is an is an optional and you don't even you are not even required to take that if you want to clear crack examination but to be very honest not because of the fact that i love tp i do love but because i truly feel that if you really want to become a holistic a sound holistic and sound international tax professional working anywhere in 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 the world india or abroad you must have a very sound understanding a very firm grasp of two aspects that is tax treaties and that is the transfer pricing guidelines practice of transfer pricing so i won't think that if you would say that i i am an international tax professional but i don't know anything about transfer pricing then uh, believe me that would carry a very that would convey a very good impression so as far as i am concerned i would see this three option as pit principles of international tax compulsory and i would also say that transfer pricing also compulsory third you can choose 
Fine. I mean, this is what I would do. Okay, fine. So let us now go again. Syllabus guide. Module one. Principles of international taxation. It's a very detailed syllabus, but yes, broadly I read. I, there's no point in writing the topics, but I'll broadly read out the main headings. Fine. Basic principles of international tax law. Double taxation convention, double taxation convention that is tax treaties. Focusing on the, please listen to me very carefully. Double taxation conventions that is DTCs or tax treaties, focusing on the current version of the OECD model tax convention MTC and the current version which is in vogue that is OECD model tax convention 2017 version. And that was released in November 2017. Fine. Third is third topic transfer pricing. Transfer pricing and thin cap, thin cap or thin capitalization rules. I mean, can you can you imagine? Can you believe this? That transfer pricing is included as a topic in principles of international tax, which is supposed to be a compulsory. So don't you think it is it makes common sense to study transfer pricing also as a second paper? Because in any case, you will have to study transfer pricing if you want to clear this first exam, which is a compulsory exam. And mind you, it carries 20% weightage. It's not as if it contains only 5%, 2% weightage and you can leave this. No, 20% weightage, heavy weightage. So that is why I am saying that I don't, I don't see second as an option for me. First is also compulsory and second is also compulsory. Deeply. Fine, transfer pricing. Right? So third topic is transfer pricing and think gap rules. Then fourth topic is international tax avoidance and miscellaneous topics. So together if you would see double taxation convention that is tax treaties and transfer pricing. This comprises of 50% of the syllabus. And mind you, when you go with, when we would go through the actual papers, we would find that it is way more than 50%. Fine. Right? Okay. So as far as this is concerned, this is the syllabus. Broad edge. There's a very detailed detailed uh, analysis of uh, subtopics within these broad topics right <laughs> and you know what i mean well the syllabus also contains you know what you would find if you would go through the syllabus every topic has in front of it certain numbers number one number two number three hats off to ciot what they have done level one level 2 and level 3 these three levels indicate the level of knowledge that you must possess for qualifying that area i mean that is expected if you want to crack that area level 1 is basic awareness basic understanding no detailed answers level 2 is advanced knowledge and level 3 is much more advanced knowledge interpretation analysis and further extrapolation so these three are the levels Fine, but we'll take care of that. No problem. But I mean, this is this is the level of thoroughness that uh, CIOT has uh, displayed in the um, making of this syllabus. I mean, hats off to them truly. Okay, done. Now, see that recommended reading list. Recommended reading list for paper one. That is principle of international taxation. Permitted texts. Permitted. There are three categories. Permitted texts, essential reading, and then books. Again, repeating. This is official syllabus. This is official ADIT prospectus that contains syllabus, and I have taken the printout and I am simply reading from this. So, permitted texts. What are permitted texts? Permitted texts are those texts. Those texts. That candidates may take a copy of the following text only into the examination. Meaning to say, you can even take the copy of these permitted texts. You can even take the copy of these permitted texts into the examination hall. And as I just now mentioned to you, the entire syllabus, the broad topics, that very clearly says that this is the area, these are the topics that you need to prepare. Fine. Let us go through this permitted text. Permitted text, text number one, OECD base, OECD base erosion and profit shifting, in short BEPS, OECD BEPS final reports. Number two, OECD model tax convention, 
OECD modern tax convention on income and capital 2017 version number 2 number 3 OE, OECD transfer pricing guidance transfer pricing guidance on financial transactions I'll, I'll, I'll show, show, show that these are also the report this is also a report that was released by OECD then fourth official OECD transfer pricing guidelines official Number 5, then you have International Tax NTP EU Tax Material by Professor K. Sundar, Volume A, Leiden International Tax Center. Uh, that is from where I did my LLM. I just showed them to you. This is a 2018 19 version. This contains Model Tax Convention MTC. This also contains transfer pricing guidelines. So even this is a permitted text. Fine. So these are this is the entire list of permitted text. Fine. Essential reading. Essential reading. OECD action plan on debts and so on. Books. Unfortunately, there is no single textbook and so on and so forth. And then they have a list. Brian Arnold, Philip Baker. Professor Harris, Milligan, Kureshi, Raymer, Rohatagi, Schwarz, Schwarz, Schoem, and so on. But my dear friends, and then you have periodicals, British, Ta British Tax Review, IBFD, KBD Draw Fiscal, EC Tax Review, European Taxation, Intertax, and Tax, in tax Notes International. My dear friends, there is no mention of a very famous, very famous, what should I say? Uh, do I need to mention that name? Sounding, I mean, it rhymes with Dolly and Polly. Is it clear? It rhymes with Dolly and Polly. It, there is no mention of that specific publisher's name. No mention. Exactly. Right, Yardi? I didn't want to take that. <laughs> because this is, I, this is the video that I'm going to post on the YouTube and share. So there's no point in specifically naming. But I'm simply saying that there is no mention. I knew this name. But there is no mention of this name anywhere in this permit text. And if it is not mentioned, then as per CIOT, the body which, which makes the papers, which conducts the examination, which is the entire body, they don't think that anything apart from these permitted texts is required. Is it clear? So unnecessary, I don't know from where these misconce misconceptions and myths have been um, inserted into the minds of the candidate that you require that specific publisher no it's not required my dear friend and don't go behind what is being told to you simply go to the original authorized text syllabus prospectus and see for yourself what exactly is the material required now the last thing before we jump to the q a session uh, let us go through the transfer pricing module as well because that is what we are offering in international tax academy TP module, uh, here it is, again, 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 one second, TP optional, there it is, TP. Yeah, so this is, see, module 3.03, transfer pricing option, fine. So let me go through the syllabus broadly. Fundamental sources, arms length principle that we have start, we, we, we did start on Sunday. Functional analysis, TP methods, comparability, specific transactions, permanent establishments, compliance issues, and avoiding double taxation and then other issues. Fine. And then there's a detailed categorization of these issues. And again, coming to the recommended reading list. Recommended reading list. See here. Recommended reading list official. Permitted text, same. Candidates may take a copy of the following text only into the examination, meaning to say that whatever is permitted, only you can take the copy of those permitted texts into the examination, and nothing apart from those texts is allowed for the examination purpose. Number one. OECD Modern Tax Convention on Income Tax, Income and Capital. Modern Tax Convention is allowed for this transfer pricing option. Is it clear? And we, we, we just now saw that transfer pricing guidelines were allowed for Modern Tax Convention. Why? Because you have a 
cross cross functionality cross synergy that is being used there and that is it is being used here fine right? so model as convention is allowed permitted number 2 g20 beps final reports then you have beps final reports action plan 13 report on the permanent establishment of uh, attribution of profits to pes 2010 report tp guidance on financial transactions and transfer pricing guidelines for multinational enterprises and tax convention that is tpg 2017 version now ciot at least for the adit adit 2022 i mean june and then december examination they have mentioned that you can use transfer pricing guidelines of the 2017 July 2017, but in some other places they have also mentioned that whenever you have a latest report, a more recent edition of the permitted text, then we would expect that the student should follow that. So now all of you know that 2017 guidelines after 2017 guidelines, OECD has released another 2022 guidelines. They were released in January 2022. So we now have more recent reports. So in the batch, we will refer to 2022 guidelines. And 2022 guidelines they contain 2017 guidelines plus plus uh, some uh, some I won't say rectification but revision and then there are there were certain reports which came after 2017 and now they have been included into this 2022 version. For example, there was a guidance, there was an addition of chapter 10 on financial transactions. earlier it was a separate uh, separate report now chapter 10 has been formally included in the oecd transferring guidelines in the 2022 version number 1 number 2 there was a section in which guidance re revised guidance was given to the tax administrations for valuation of htvis that is hard to value intangibles so now that has been included then complete almost complete overhaul of the guidance on ps and that is profit split method inclusion of many examples that has been made into 2022 guidelines so meaning to say that lots of at least three four major changes have occurred and they have been made up, made a part of 2022 guidelines so in the class in the batch we will take up 2022 guidelines and believe me you if you will cite 2022 guidelines in the examination in the question you will see extra credit i mean this is my option this is my uh, i mean what would i expect but this would definitely be the case i mean that would convey that would convey an impression that the candidate is keeping himself or herself abreast with the latest development in the field of international taxation and that would be that would be very very favorable to your your case fine so meaning to say apart from this apart then you have un model double taxation convention un un that UN practical manual on TP. There is a TP manual released by United Nations as well, so that is also permitted. Fine. Then case one draft material I have already shown to you. This book, this contains uh, TP as well. Fine. And then additional reading. There are there are Andrus, Don again, Global TP, EY guide, Conrad, Conrad, Sean, Lang, Vanrad, Lang, Lang, OECD, OECD. And then there is a case list of case laws. Again, there is no mention of that Dolly or Molly. You understand? No mention. So, my dear friends, I have just now very clearly elaborated in front of you what is the recommended reading list, what is permitted in this examination, what is required for you to prepare for this examination, and what is not just not just for qualification of the examination, but model tax convention 2017. and the tp guidelines these are the actual texts that you would require once you achieve the qualification and once you start practicing believe me as a practicing international tax professional i have seen i know not just seen i know suppose in tomorrow you have a case you have to represent your client in front of it income tax authority and obviously you have to make certain certain citations from the reference that i have done this my company has done this because it is it is it is authorized by certain certain uh, text official so what what will you cite there that dolly or molly or oecd guidelines if you go to the courts obviously oecd model tax convention and oecd tp guidelines they carry although they are recommendatory but they carry a very very heavy uh, heavy uh, acceptability across the world in all courts 
so when you see that you have a certain official text which is recommended by the body for preparation as well as for subsequent practice so don't you think it is common sense that from the very basis you start referring to those official texts and you gain competence over those texts that is why you would remember when i had sent those uh, two doc those those two pdf files in the group i had very clearly mentioned i have those messages that you should know these documents like the back of your hand so as far as i am concerned in the adid preparation batch that we are going to start for next week i am going to base my my lectures and our preparation solely on the oecd model text because that is what is required that is what is recommended and that is what you will require when you qualify this examination and when you practice of course i am not saying that oecd guidelines and oecd model text convention will cover 100% believe me friends as field of international taxation is so dynamic so that i think no text in fact they have mentioned this no single text can can hope to cover everything but yes a very very large part a very substantial part can be covered from those two these these two documents that i just now mentioned is it clear fine apart from this there are certain reports certain papers as soon whatever i feel will uh, would be relevant i'll 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 share those documents that is fine but no dolly no polly no dolly no dolly no polly that is not required and necessarily don't fret don't require don't don't spend your necessary money these two documents are official documents they can be shared obviously they very clearly say that you can use these for uh, academic purposes there is no harm you can take the print out you can uh, ask the uh, ciot via email to allow you to take these copies and they would do so so this is all what i had to say regarding uh, the the things that i had been in my mind and now it's it's up to you whatever questions you you need to ask please shoot i am all ready i am all ready to count to to take care of those questions to the best of my abilities i please come on come on come on hello manas sir ha ha nile nilesh come on yes nilesh what's it all yes Yes. So, uh, in for I have a doubt for my third third subject. Like I I have decided to take PIT and second as transfer pricing. Fine. The third one, third one. What will you recommend me? Uh, which country should I take or should I take from anything from thematic part? Anything from the thematic part is then oil and thematic. Ha 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 ha. Oh, this is a very 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 relevant question. Very relevant question. That sir, you are covering only two subjects. Third, we have to take that. That's that's the case. You have to take the third one. Nilesh, what exactly is your background? What I'm are you? I'm a supervising professional. You are a TPA professional. Okay, yes. fine. Okay, fine. Uh, and do I do I see that you are uh, that you are also a CA? I mean, what sort of background yes. you have? You are a CA. I'm a chartered accountant. Yes. Excellent. If you are a CA, then you would definitely have a certain. I mean, not just certain, but you would have a decent grip over the Indian aspects of international tax. Yes. If you if you find you can take that one, I'll give you options for the third. Right? If I would be in play in your place, what would I do? Okay. One option is very directly. If I if I see myself as remaining in India for the next five, six, ten years down the line and working here in the field of international tax. it makes sense that let's take let's take uh, india and gain a complete mastery i'll go to any any of the big four i'll then go to any of the big four and probably rise to the level of a partner so one is jurisdiction indian indian option fine one is this now my previous background is very different actually i am also an engineer and as an engineer okay. and as an engineer i have worked As an officer with Oil and Natural Gas Corporation (ONGC). Okay. So, seeing this, if I were to do this this soul searching in your place, what would I do? I would probably take energy sources option. I would, because energy so energy sources till last year I think energy sources till last year was very very explicitly named as oil and gas taxation, and we all of us know that oil and gas taxation even in today's time. constitute the major major source of energy all over the world right so this is my preferred oil and gas right 
Then third, I I also I also understand that probably uh, see again if you really want to okay uh, Deepak you be uh, lost you uh, you lost me in between okay so I am saying that Indian option first one you are going to in Nilesh I have heard your question please switch off switch off your mic please switch off your mic thank you fine so Indian option all of us we know we are CAs and all I have a background go for Indian option fine. Second option I have told you oil and gas very very relevant across the movement across the world. Yes, you have big big multinational Exxon, Mobil, Shell, BP, Amoco, etc. 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 They I mean if you gain qualification with this theme, you would become one of the most sought out professionals in my opinion. Because you won't find any profession you won't find many professionals who would be specializing in this oil and gas taxation. That to international. Very, very highly niche and highly specialized. There's one catch though. Oil and gas option is offered only in June. It is not offered in December. Okay. TP is off offered uh, both in June and December, but oil and gas option is offered only in June. Fine. But yes, one of the most sought after. And probably if I would do, I would take. In fact, now you know what has happened. Now, because of this climate change and all these talks which are happening, now they have remodeled this oil and gas option, which I told. And now they have renamed it as uh, energy sources. So you would have oil and gas taxation also, and then you have carbon tax. You know? Have you heard? Carbon taxation, those recent areas which are coming. So very, very dynamic and very, very interesting. Fine. So this can be two. Two or two, two, two probable options for the third, for the third uh, choice. Then third, somebody has told me that even Singapore is simple. Singapore, they say that it's a, it's a, the taxation is not that uh, elaborate so I won't be able to comment on the exact thing but since the source which gave me this information that Singapore is a decent option that's fine but I personally I won't go for Singapore because Singapore again although it's a developed country but it's a very very tiny country and if I am really working this hard if I am really working this hard for working in the field of international taxation then I would take my career to the next level I would go to the EU or probably UK or US if I am so, if I am so hellbent upon taking a jurisdictional approach, but you all go for EU approach, EU direct tax, parent subsidiary directive, interest directive, arbitration convention, tax dispute resolution directive. We read that we, in, in LLM we had an option, so that is the kind. Mean, I mean that is the place where the real international taxation issues are seen. Fine. UK option again. UK option is very, very, very. It's very nice. I mean, these are the option. I'm not saying just, just to crack, just for the cracking of the examination. I'm literally saying that supposing you want to work in the field of international tax, then obviously you would go for that jurisdiction which offers you a lot of potentialities. Isn't, isn't it so? And UK option there is one. This because CIOT is also UK body. So what I found out that they mentioned in their uh, website that if you if you take the UK UK option, then you will gain some extra credits for becoming a CTA that is Chartered Taxation Advisor, Corporate Taxation that is also provided by CIOT, but that is not the subject. But you will gain certain you will gain certain credit if you want to add this further qualification if you take the UK option, and then obviously the best. Probably the the most advanced country, probably, and the, that is why the most advanced taxation is US. This is completely a different ballgame. I have studied US international taxation as well. I had uh, in my realm. But believe me, very, very, all those, you know what? Pillar 2 and Pillar, Pillar 2 and Pillar 1, especially Pillar 2. Pillar 2 has been modeled after BEAT, B E A T, BEAT. Base erosion and avoidance tax, base erosion and anti-avoidance tax. That was that was the theme of Mr. Trump. December, December 2017. Uh, yes, December 2017. Mr. Trump came out with TCJ, Tax Cut and Jobs Act. So this contained all those proposals, be it FDII, guilty, you might have heard, guilty. Guilty. 
वेरी कैची नेम है ना गिल्टी ग्लोबल इंटेंजिबल लो टैक्स इनकम गिल्टी एफडीआई फॉरेन डिराइव इंटेंजिबल इनकम बीट बेस इरोजन एंड एंटी अवॉर्डेंस द पिलर टू वाज बिहाइंड वाज वाज हैज बीन मॉडल्ड बिहाइंड दिस बीट एंड ऑल सो यूएस इंटरनेशनल टैक्सेशन आई गॉट सुपर so these are the possible options for the third option for the third choice if you just want to pass the examination choose that syllabus which is the least for which you don't have to study much if that is the problem i mean that is the that is your priority as far as i am concerned i have all i have never taken a shortcut i always plan keeping in mind the long term So I just not told you that if I would really want to work in the field of international tax, I would choose that option, which in which country I would see myself that five years down the line, ten years down the line, I would be probably working in that country. You're working in before, for example, and you have, you have achieved the qualification of U.S. international tax. Supposing tomorrow there is an on-site requirement, then, sir, I have this. You can have certificate. सर्टिफिकेट सेपरेट सर्टिफिकेशन आई हैव बीन आई हैव बीन सर्टिफाइड बाय सी आई ओ टी दैट आई हैव क्वालिफाइड यूएस इंटरनेशनल टैक्सेशन सर सो थिंक ऑन ऑफ दीज लाइंस ठीक है ना मेरा सोचने का आई मीन माय थिंकिंग इज वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट आई होप यू लाइक आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेश्चन राइट ओके नेक्स्ट वन प्लीज मनाली दीपक So, I have any questions? Because whatever I have to say, I have said. I really wanted to clarify all those misconceptions regarding the study material, and uh, I have done that. So, I require certain certain uh, pointers from you about what should I uh, talk about next. I have one more thing, one sir. You showed us that keys van that book, right? Uh -huh. I have that book. I uh -huh. have that book. Achha. So what is happening? It is amended till 2000. It consists of 2017, but we have 2022 DP guidelines and uh, uh, this model convention. So is it possible to take that book as a base along with that documentation of 2022? Again, very good question. Nilesh, as I said, the point is, see. Professor Van Dard, who was my LLM course director, he has compiled. I mean, under his supervision, this book has been compiled. But this book contains the official versions, official text of OECD Model Tax Convention 2017 and TP guidelines 2017. So now, since I told you that since TP guidelines have been revised, so I believe what the what the better thing would be that take. a uh, print out i done that take a print out of the oecd 2022 guidelines because see one more thing now the last guidelines were released in 2017 july and now these guidelines have been released in january 2022 so how much almost three and a half years four and a half years so you can be you can be quite sure that oecd isn't going to come up with something new for the next four years are you understand So doesn't it make sense? Doesn't it make sense to take a print out of this, work upon this, update your knowledge on the basis of the the most recent, the latest guidelines, and then accordingly do that. Right? So take a print out of this one, twenty twenty two, because uh, you would be uh, you would you can refer to that the uh, those twenty uh, seventeen guidelines as well. But uh, believe me, this would be this would be better. This would be better if you read from the latest. You can, if you want, you can supplement 2017, 2022, but then you'll have to keep on flipping. 2017, 2017 uh, does not contain. Uh, there are 20 paragraphs in chapter number one. 20 paragraphs in chapter number one. I think from paragraph number 103 to 123. Those 20 paragraphs contain calculation of risk-free rate of return and risk-adjusted rate of return. That is not in 2017 guidelines, but that is very important. So these are the things which you have to take care of separately. So I would very strongly advise, very strongly advise, who go for twenty seven, twenty twenty two. Right? Yes, sorry, you had some, you have something in your mind. 
Hi, Professor. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have like a uh, couple of questions. The first thing is like, uh, although that uh, question is uh, currently uh, not much, uh, that much relevant about the uh, second option of the exam because the first target is to, you know, to uh, track down the first two exams. So one is the mandatory and the transfer pricing. So uh, I have like uh, attempted the transfer pricing model like two years back without studying anything uh, specifically. Uh -huh. I just uh, uh, I just uh, set for the exam uh, on the basis of like practical knowledge, but whatever I have. Because uh, prior to that, I completed the uh, DIIT, which is the Diploma in International Taxation from ICAI. Right. So on, on that basis, I, I just uh, set for the exam. Uh, I, but I just scored uh, 48 marks uh, in transfer pricing model. So after that, like I am not studying uh, for that exam, and my CP is also going on. So uh, for that, currently I'm working in the transfer pricing in EY. So I have. Uh, Question regarding like how much time uh, do you think uh, I need to you know, uh, deploy uh, as a being a working professional to uh, track this exam? Very 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 pertinent question. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for this question. And I believe this is something which should, which would be definitely in the mind of every aspiring. You know what? Although you must understand that. Studying for any examination, ADIT, 12, CA, IAS, Civil Services, CA, DIT, studying for any exam examination is very, very individual specific. I mean, you might be a very, very fast reader, you might be a fast learner, so you might be able to complete that entire study material in a lesser amount of time compared to me. Isn't it so? So, it is very individual specific, and this is, this is relevant for that as well. This is relevant for this examination as well. Fine. But having said that, CIOT has prescribed a certain certain amount of time. They say, I mean, what they say. Don't take don't don't take that. This is these are this is what I think also. But if you would if you would find uh, on in the prospectus, what they say that uh, 140 hours are required for according to them according to them 140 hours are required for the preparation of paper number one PIT 140 hours. And for every thematic module, that is paper number two and paper number three, they say that around 200 hours. They say 140 hours for paper number one and 200 hours for paper number two. You know what? This is again with all the qualification that I can attach. Probably this is also this is probably more than the typical LLM load for these subjects. 200 hours mastering for TP is not easy. Especially for working working professionals, right? So, with this background, I would say that what I have designed, what I have designed the course coaching for uh, what I have designed that sixty hours for coaching for each of the subjects should be good enough and then with those background of 60 hours if you put in on a daily basis 1 to 2 hours 3 hours I mean depending see again depending upon you might be a fast learner you might be able to revise that in less amount of time but see syllabus is quite involved and since you have already taken the examination you would have a definite idea that what is the kind of questions that are answered questions are very very practical oriented very very practice oriented and the questions are detailed because they really want to take your level of international taxation from, I don't know, from a base level to this level. So you will have to work hard. That is fine. So 60 hours of coaching of TP in the batch, 60 hours of coaching in uh, for the for the principles of international taxation, and then at least similar amount of time from your 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 schedule on a daily basis. You cannot you cannot. I mean, lay back that I have completed today's class, you forget, you don't revise and then again after 5 days, you will not be able to understand what was covered on the first day. So you will have to maintain consistency, you will have to work on daily basis. Then there are questions also we will discuss in the class, how you can apply those principles. But yes, I would be lying, I would be lying, I would be dishonest to you if I would say that no, 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 only 60 hours of coaching in the class is good enough and you don't need to do. You don't need to do, you don't need to exert yourself now. As something, yeah. And what I have in mind, that is why I 
I would have taken elongated, I mean, long classes as well. That is why what I have in my mind that I'm going to hold two hour daily session, seven to nine. I think because you are working professional, seven to nine, six hours, six, six days a week. So that will be what a load of 12 hours every week. Sunday can be an off. So you would find that 12 hours each day, 12 into five, 60. So I think within, within five weeks, you should be thorough with one subject. Then we can, we can have some discussions one to one basis on a one on one to one basis. I mean, in the, in the group so that the doubts are resolved. And then accordingly, we'll start the next module. The first module that I'm going to start is transfer pricing. Why? Because TP is abstract. Model tax convention is difficult, that's fine. But model tax convention, convention is easier to understand. There is one company here. There is one company here, fine. But TP, functional analysis, completely in the air. Come functional analysis. Accurate delineation of commercial or financial relations and the conditions attaching to those financial relations along with the economically relevant circumstances will help you to. So TP guidelines will take time. They will take time for you to grasp them. They will take time to get inside you. But once they do so, you will gain that sort of mastery. This is my so I believe, I believe, uh, Sohil, I have answered your question. Uh, yes, my sir, I just uh, had like two more questions. Uh, like, I just want to add on that. Uh, For, can I, can I, can I, uh, Sohil, can I go to Deepak first? I think Deepak has something because I saw his uh, linking. Then I'll again come back to you. Is it fine? Okay, no, no issue. Deepak, come on. What's your, what's your question? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Thanks for this opportunity. Yeah, please. So, uh, I work with KPMG India in Transparency team. Right. So, uh, I have uh, two concerns. I don't, I'm not sure whether these are, uh, this may be relevant for other, but uh, my first uh, concern is that I'm, uh, other than uh, this principle of international taxation and transfer pricing, these are two exams which I have confirmed. I have to appear. Third one is that I am thinking that uh, if I appear for India option, I will get a reading material easily. Fine. Fine. And uh, I am also confused uh, with your alternative that you provided that you also have a, a maybe shiny career in oil and gas industry once you completed ADIT. So which one do I need? Because I am not interested in any other jurisdiction other than India. No, no. So you answered your question. You have very clearly answered your question. And you know, when I was discussing those options, the first, the first choice that was mentioned here was India. And Nilesh would note, Nilesh, I, I told Nilesh very clearly that if I see myself working in India for the next five, ten, five, ten years, then there's no, then there's no question of choosing any any other option. Why would I choose anything other from India? Because okay. as, uh, yes, you you very you have very rightly pointed out that availability of study material for India option is the easiest. Obviously, because we are all Indians, fine. Right. Then because we have already you are a commerce guy, you've already been reading Indian income tax at nineteen sixty one for so many so, so many years, and you you think that you will be saying here yeah, there is no point in choosing any other option. Those oil and gas, US, EU, that was simply uh, a method of bringing those possible options to everybody's uh, frame of reference that this is this is this should be the thinking approach that yes if i want to go abroad if i want to do something then i should think like this is it clear so as far as you are concerned what i gather from your question india option completely sealed block yeah thanks i think it solved my purpose ah, don't and one small uh, yes, sir, you are saying something. Principle of international tax number one, number two TP, number three India, done. Come on, bus. Yeah, so I am planning for uh, TP option first in December 22nd. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, and my second uh, like challenge is that uh, if when I open OECD guidelines, huh, suppose uh, if suppose I have uh, I have uh, I have uh, I have to read OECD uh, business restructuring. Then suppose it has like 40 to 60 pages of one chapter. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have to read all the exam. No, this is this is this is this is what I will when I say that we will take up the chapters, na. So I will again I will not read 
word by word every word of every chapter in the in the class this is not possible right this is not possible not possible here not possible anywhere but i will tell you what are the key areas what are the key points that you should focus on and once we will read those guidelines because i would require every one of you to come with a hard copy print out when you be, when, when we will read those guidelines together you will gain the mastery and when you will revise when you find any there is any doubt in the paragraph come back to me ask in the class or i will point out that this is the point so if you will do now then you won't find any difficulty in understanding chapter 9 business restructuring one of my favorite areas very very involved areas in fact that is a subject in itself you can specialize in transfer pricing aspects of business restructuring job tp and then tp within tp business restructuring tp and then within tp intangibles tp and within tp financial transaction are right? these are full fledged areas in themselves is it clear yes sir right fine so now so in what 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 was it out uh so which is like uh, which uh, option is better to okay first whether it is pp or sub pip because pip we know it is a mandatory thing so anyhow we have to uh, do that the point that you mentioned is well taken in fact why am i saying that i'll take up tp first because i showed it to you just now that the principles of international taxation that is module number 1 which is compulsory that contains 20% weightage of tp reverse is not the case tp doesn't contain mtc except for article 9 that that and that we already covered so meaning to say that if you would start reading pip that is the first invariably you would you would have to go to tp so suppose you start reading pit and then there is a topic 20% topic which contains profit profit attribution to permanent establishment article 7 article 7.1 7.2 2010 report. Unless and until you have a clear understanding of ALP, you will not be able to tackle questions. Number one. Number two. I have just now mentioned that model task convention is difficult in what, but still you can imagine. There is a company, company country A, country B. Dividends are flowing, royalties flowing. Something which is very country. I mean, it's, it's, you can imagine. Oh, TP is abstract. Abstract like what? X is equal to Y. Mathematics. so abstract things you would require more time to understand are you getting a point supposing i take pit first which i can do i take pit first six five weeks pit done then after five weeks six week i start with tp five weeks again tp done and then the batch is finished and after five weeks you have a doubt then what would what would you do obviously sometime you can refer but then the problem is done problem is i mean the batch is finished so i am deliberately to my this is this is this is this is an extra load upon me that we will take up tp first so that the knowledge you will gain here that will be applicable in pit as well and the time you would give this to because you have an ample amount of time over september october november all four months by december if if you read tp guidelines at least twice you will have a very decent understanding first time tp guidelines you will read i am very sorry nobody can uh, very abstract even i hated literally january 2019 basic tp subject module in my nlm when i read the tp guidelines for the first time i hated tp literally i swear hated but then we had we had a very involved exam we very elaborate so i had to read it there was no other option i read it once i did not understand i read it again in the same month then things started making sense then in the month of april 2019 we had advanced tp then i read it again thrice and by that time things had started making sense why because you you have to refer chapter 1 every every year normally when you read anything for the first time you don't you are not able to make connections between different chapters isn't it so those connections and association they, they they take time and more abstract a thing is the more amount of time you would require for that thing to penetrate you to get that to 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 understand those things that is why i, I want to take the take up tp first is it clear uh yes sir i just want to uh, uh, as a more sorry to take you uh, more help uh actually i'm also as i also mentioned that i'm also doing cpa so this is uh better to uh, go for the uh, us jurisdiction for the uh, third option uh, and plus uh, 
I like uh, currently I'm working uh, in the PY, so I have some uh, clients I'm working with the mining and oil and gas also. So uh, although I'm much more inclined towards the US taxation, so what is your like view or what your advice on this? See, if I am if I am not afraid of hard work, if I really want to be at the top of the international taxation pyramid, with the, with the I know myself, I know my personality, what I love, I love to learn. Then with these things in background and, and I love challenges, then probably I would go for US international taxation. I will definitely face face, uh, face uh, hindrances or obstacles in encountering the study material and all. But that would be very, 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 uh, it would pay me richly once I do that. And believe me, US international taxation is also is involved, but it's very, very much doable is very 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 uh, very well very much doable nothing is impossible so accordingly see what you have what what are your priorities and believe me us international taxation is also very much don't i mean it is tough i'm not saying it's easy it's tough but if you want to go like this then i would i would definitely recommend that you can you can opt for this fine well. mm. you have any other question uh, no, no, sir. I just uh, have, uh, do you have any, uh, if you have any idea like how uh, the C because if you also have this uh, federal taxation thing, so how much uh, if that could help in? Uh, I see. So uh, on this front, uh, because I have not done any research in CPA, so I'll not be able to help you with this one. Fine. Because see, again, I know what are my strengths. I know what are my. Strengths. I'm not even offering the Indian international tax. Have you wondered why? I'm not offer, I'm, I'm offering only paper number one, PIT and trust pricing because I know these are my strong points. Is it clear? So CPA, I won't, unless and until I'm completely sure I don't, I do research, I won't comment upon. So this is something which you need to take care of your own CPA and probably ask some other uh, expert. Manali, I, I want one question from your side. You've been sitting very patiently, but I need one question from your side as well. And then we'll wrap up, wrap this up. Come on. Uh, no, my actually my questions are like you, there were certain questions, but you have uh, nicely elaborated all the uh, queries which other fellow mates have put it upon. Then when I work in EY, mm -hmm. but I'm the corporate taxation, mm -hmm. uh, but would like would want to switch to some I remember, uh, I remember, I remember the 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 call the, the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I was looking for uh, certain certification. Like, like I'm very much uh, done with whatever you have said. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're, you're, you're most welcome. So, so, I have one final input. Come on, come on, Deepak. I guess out of four, three are from EY, even I also was from EY. Achha, okay, fine. I don't know about Nilesh. Speed up, Nilesh. Speed up. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, Currently, two are from EY, one is from KPMG, which is me, and one is from PWC. All right. Yeah. And the person, one of my friends, Aram, we missed him out, who is also from EY. Okay, fine. Fine. He's also quite interested in glass And sir, last thing I wanted to ask that the session that you are uh, scheduling from 1st of uh, August, may I know the timelines? And uh, schedule of class. Schedule, see, see. First of August, first of August was tentative, and probably I would, uh, I would try my level best to start on first, and in all probabilities, I would start from first. Fine, because yeah. currently, what currently, I, I'll, I'll let you know what exactly I'll be doing. We are actually uh, working on the website, and I'm going to apply to the CIOT for inclusion in their official course providers uh, list. Right. So for that we need a website and we are working upon that. So I hope that uh, these things should uh, come into place as far as quickly as possible. As far as the timeline is concerned, I have already told you that it would be two hour session, six days a week. So that uh, in around three months, I mean by the mid of October, you should be thorough with this uh, PIT and uh, transfer pricing uh, coaching and you have around one month plus in your hands for revision because the examination are on 6th, 7th and 8th of December this year. One thing which I would like to mention, every one of you, please get yourself registered. 
because first you need to get yourself yourself registered and the date of, date of registration last date of registration is 2nd of september fine you have to register yourself and once you register yourself then you have to enter for the examination and entry for the examination the last date is 16th of september you can enter till 30th but from 16 to 30th you have to pay late fees don't wait get yourself registered before 2nd september and between 2nd or 16th get yourself entered that you would be taking up it's like filling the forms then you want to take up pit you want to take up dp give give them the fees and so you have roll number etc etc all these paperwork these administrative formalities are taken care of well in advance don't wait for the late don't wait for the late is it clear so but again 2 into 2 hours every day 2 hours 6 days a week 12 hours 12 hours each week and then 60 hours syllabus for each subject Fine. So 60 plus 60, 120 hours would be the entire more. I mean, this is just an approximation. It can be slightly more, and I believe it will be slightly more, but it won't be less than that. We have ample discussions of the past year question papers, at least two question papers, because they are very very elaborate. One question can take one hour, two hour, and so. So at least two. That is uh, last December. And probably this June, but at least two question papers for each PIT and for TP. We'll have discussion in the classes. That will be a part of the course. We have discussions. We have doubt clearing session. All those things they'll be uh, they'll be a part of the class. Uh, uh, Rashmi, please put your put your mic on uh, on mute. One second, one second. Okay. fine is it clear so i think with this uh, it's already 8 8:50 so i think we can call it a day hello yeah. uh yeah, ma'am so i just wanted to put one question across come on, come on, come on. actually as you mentioned earlier that you would be taking sessions from 7 to 9 uh -huh. so like we as we all are like working in individuals so like because of our work commitments that some days it might not be possible to come around at 7 and attend whole session so you would be recording your session so this would be the only online session i do plan i do i do plan to record i do plan to record uh and uh, uh if you would uh, see my point is i would stress that every one of you should attend the class because in the class this this sort of live interaction when you would you would uh, undertake this sort of live interaction this would be uh, adding much much value to you you would see for yourself but i do understand that there are certain contingencies being working professionals you might face so you know 7 to 9 even when i say 7 to 9 it can be made 6 to 8 it can be made 7:30 to 9:30 or i mean a little bit of flexibility is there as far as timing is concerned we can have a discussion once you join that what would be the exact timings and even even after that the timing has been decided and still you are not able to join those 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 session from the starting then probably i think in that case sharing of recording etc that can be that can be taken care of that has to be done okay is it clear okay. yeah everyone so thank you very much for joining this session it was very interactive and uh, i hope i would have uh, i did clear many of the uh, doubts that you might have had in your uh, mind and accordingly i don't say that everything has been uh, left crystal clear but yes certain doubts would arise they are expected to arise once the actual batch starts and they will be taken care of when we uh, when we meet in the batches again so at least but please please remember and whoever is your batchmate or colleagues they are preparing for uh, adit aspiring whatever please tell them that dolly molly is not required fine that dolly molly is not required i have clearly shown this from the adit prospectus because the, unless and until you take these these misconceptions out of your mind you will not be able to i mean it will be difficult for you to actually uh, start preparing fine so with these words i thank all of you and i'll put uh, some information in the group and uh, see you guys soon thank you so much namaskar
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार नमस्कार